Okay, the inside. So we've got the door with the blinds, the bin outside, um, these mats. Right, okay. Uh, we've owned this caravan for just under two years. Previous owners had it from new. They said they never used it, um, and we've we've always had them stored in the loft. So they're brand new. They've just gone straight back down, so that people can see that they're in there. Uh, okay, the caravan's got an L-shaped lounge. Um, now this doesn't come out to a bed, but as you can see, I mean, it's amply long enough for one adult. Uh, we've had two adults sleeping on there quite comfortably. Uh, if you've got grandkids, you know, shorter people, obviously. Two people will fit on there perfectly well. Um, under seat storage. Uh, okay, where do we go from here? You've got the fly screen on the door. Uh, straight in, you notice huge hecky roof light. Uh, there's two of those in the van, it makes it lovely and airy. Uh, big old mirror. Um, I'll show you the rest of that in a minute anyway. So we'll come in. Where should we start? We'll start down here. Um, we have fuse box, storage cupboard. Okay. Um, the outside here, yeah, blown air heating. Outside in the awning, I remember showed you that. That's off obviously. That's on full. Halfway. Uh, a little bit of dust there, we'll get rid of that. Um, so it's blown air heating. All the standard windows. They're good windows. Um, the three front windows are your standard caravan ones. They have got blinds, obviously. Um, oops, excuse me, you have a full up mozzie. And then, obviously, you've got the blinds blackout now. All three of those have got that. Um, and you've got the curtains as well. We'll go to the other window, which is probably the biggest in the van, so I'll show you this one. You've got the curtains. Uh, you push that button in to open these. We had a bit of an issue with these when we first got the van. Stupidly didn't want to know how to open the windows when we got it. So that's how you open the windows, you push those. And then it's just here to click. And it states. So you wait again here to click. And it stays, and they open all the way. So you get huge amounts of air coming in, uh, and they're good, strong, sturdy windows. Again, you've got the blinds going all the way along, uh, and then the mozzinets come down on the top. So it's a good little way of doing things. You can just have full mozzy. Same old, good little bit scared. Close the window down, just push it, bring it in, click, click, click. Okay, um, oh, that wine cupboard. <laughs> Wife uses this one the most, as you can imagine. Uh, we tend to just go on short trips, a couple of weekends, um, a year. But um, it's a lovely van, and there's your aerial, goes up and down. Right, uh, what we got? We've got a stereo in here. Stereo is not too bad. There we do it. And press the source button. Uh, radio comes on. It's got an iPod, iPhone connector that works really well. Loudness, and then we've got speakers just there. And there, um, as you can tell, let's go up to 20. A very, very difficult already. stage event. Um, so I put, and uh, you can change it email, around. So golf emails. Why is it acceptable for school ski trip term source. time to 700 yes. pounds more? And for me to take my child out on the same trip for a fraction of the cost. Yeah, so yeah, we'll turn that down. We usually have that on about 10 or 11. It's perfectly well. You can hear it in the awning. Um, right, what are we doing? Under this corner bit here, you've got your water pump and your water heater. Um, I'm not going to bother going through that. If you want to see it, come see the van. Work, perfectly work in order. Um, lights, okay, we've got 240 there and there, and we've got 240 up there, you've got three of those, one at the back there, um, I think this one's 240 as well, no, that one's both, um, and then battery power, you've got all the smaller spots, there's two underneath the thing, one to the left, one to the right underneath the bed, and there's one in the shower, that's both as well, so that's 240 or not. And that's just 240 at the front. Oh, I thought it was warm. I've got the heating on. I'll turn that down. 
What did I do? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you cook it anyway. Anyway, um, okay, while we're here, just standard stuff. Um, there's your water, there's your heater, outside is gas, click it on there, um, and the electric and gas as well for the bottom. Got a plug. Right, this little bit down here is for the alarm. Now the alarm is, um, oh, let's see if you can hear it, let's go. Right, that's on, one click. Uh, there is a light outside that comes on, I think I've done this already. Two clicks is off now. There's two sets of keys, both with alarm fobs, both with good keys. Um, this is one we got cut for when our daughter comes to stay, um, just in case she goes out with her husband or whatever. Um, and then each one has got this little bit on it. Um, just in case you, your batteries run out or something. Yeah, you can beep, beep, and put that in there, turn the alarm off, so on and so forth. We tend to keep one of these in the van, this one. Um, hidden up somewhere just in case we forget it or lose it or you know whatever. Um, right, as I say, on the bottom is hot. That Tremac one's on. Um, Two forty or gas. Blown air heating or just standard as it was just then. Um, sink. Got the plug there. Water's working fine. Hot and hot seems to be more pressure today for some reason. I think it's because the van's on a little bit of a wobble. Um, Right, okay. Um, they do work. But I've only got one hand, so if you go down to this bit, it's, pretty, I mean, it's got the light on it. Let's have a look in there. It's never been used. As my wife says, why does she go on holiday and have to cook? Um, that light is just through that switch, turns it on and off. Put your storage underneath and a good grill in there. As I say, this is the electric start for the oven and also for this. So bear with me, I'm going to put it down, see if I can almost let you see. Well, no, it's not going to work, but I'll just light all three of these and uh, come back to it. So that's one, that's two, and that's three. They all light. And you just turn them off there, there, and there. Okay, so that's all working. Uh, we've got a microwave up here. Glass inside, it's perfectly good enough microwave, works perfectly well. Um, I'm not going to turn it on because there's nothing in there. Right, mirrors. Oh, that's me. Uh, right, just while we're here, there's another mirror here, obviously. I don't know if you can see how big I am. Um, I'm not the smallest of fellas in the world. And we've used this caravan for two years without any problems, so um, I'll just prove, point that out. Then you go to the toilet, um, which is just your standard cassette toilet. Your sink, let's do this again. Take that out. Alright, this goes in here for storage. Just hot water, cold water, that's that done. Shower now. As I say, the reason I showed you how big I am is because this shower may look small, but it's not a square when it's rectangular, as you can tell. It's uh, big enough for me. Height wise, bit of an issue, but then I'm tall, you know, six foot four, so um, you're going to get that in any caravan you're going to, but width wise, perfectly. Um, Good pressure on the cold, and even better on the hot for some reason. And uh, never worked it out up and down on that. And you've got your light in here. Door shuts perfectly well, and the tower ring. Okay, uh, you've got your standard roof light in here. Um, oop, the dirt up there. That will be cleaned. Um, what are you doing? I want to see a toilet there, but we know what toilets are like. Right, in the bed, again, same size, me being the same size as you've seen. Um, the bed is big, it's ample for me and the wife. Um, we got a six foot six bed at home, so we were a bit dubious about having this four foot six one. Um, but it's fine, no problem at all. Um, and you've got your other bed storage in here. There's ample, I mean, as I say, storage in this round is not an issue whatsoever. And uh, we've got a dog. Um, and he's come with us once so far, and he's quite happy to just curl up down there on the floor or curl up down there. But as I say, we, you know, he's only been once. We've never smoked in the caravan, smoked in the awning, admittedly, but never in the caravan. Um, but as you can tell, you know, it's nice and clean. Right, again, I mentioned another hickey roof light, huge, great big thing. Um, and 
as you can see, I mean, it opens up it's more than enough space for anything you want to do. You can reach out there. These have got blinds, obviously, not completely blackout because it's not. And then you got your mozzie screen as well. So you can do half and half if you want to watch the stars. Well, okay. Oh, right now, it's quite a big spring, strong spring on both of them, and that happens quite a lot, but it is no issue. Okay, where we go? Wardrobes got lights, oh, I'll stick that up there. Got lights and hanging rails in this one, and cover down the bottom again, and put them out for storage. We don't need to worry about the storage at all. This is the original um, Explorer mattress. We've, you know, we've always used our own. Um, it's a little bit tight when you use your own because we have a square one, obviously, so it comes down a bit there. But this one fits perfectly. Um, and again, we've stored that in the loft. Uh, no shed, sorry. We've stored that in the garage. We've just moved house, you see. Yes, so I've been all over the place, faffing about. Um, right, where are we? We've got another set of cupboards down here. Now, if you do what I'm going to do here all the time. Opens them both. Um, design floor, I think, or is it just me? Stupid, I don't know. Right. <laughs> Telly point, 240 and 12 volt there. Two mirrors. Uh, we got another wardrobe in here. Both wardrobes have got the lights, hanging space, plenty of it. Um, warning stick. Chris registration, got that, obviously. Uh, it's finance clear, no problems with finance. Um, for us, you know, I'm not going to find it's you buying a van, but you can sort that out yourself. Um, TV point, that is, there is another TV point in the front, which I probably didn't show you. Down here. Um, and a plug, and a 12 volt, so it's all there. It's a little bit scuffed up, but. Right, uh, what haven't we seen? Should we do the fridge? Let's do the fridge anyway. Um, standard three way fridge. I think we're pretty much there. What have we got? Roof. Uh, we got a two-way, three-speed, in out fan. Um, yeah, I mean, as you can see, light and airy. Very light and very airy. It's a good, well-made caravan, obviously, by Eldis. Um, that was it. Undo that. And if, again, you want to, or you've got the grandkids coming to stay, there is a little clip at the back there. I... Well, well, I, I, I've never used this, so... And there you go, you got your privacy for the bedroom, if you need it. Um, it's there. What have we got? In the door. For the toilet. Shuts up like that. Teach my grandma to suck eggs, I know, but... Some people might be buying a new van, some people might not. It has a little lock up there when you're driving. Um, Okay, so what are we saying? In total, we've got one, two, three, four. There is a window behind that. Ooh. Uh, five, six flat to the roof tinted windows, which looks absolutely brilliant in my opinion. Um, and the three front ones which aren't tinted but they're good quality windows and then we've got again at the front here we have a massive hecky roof light um, this one opens at the top obviously as well um, just by turning that and it opens up probably can't see it and then you've got this one in the toilet which opens up quite well gets rid of all the uh, Set odors uh, as well as the massive window with the good bit, uh, and then you've got this other massive hecky roof. Like, so, as I say, you've got plenty of light, it's, it's, it's the perfect fan. I mean, it's a shame to get rid of it, really, but as I say, you can't justify the, um, the amount of money sitting there five maybe, but this much, no. Um, so as I say, if you've got a van that you want to upgrade, give us a call. Um, Email us. Uh, see.